So in this lesson, we will make our first simulation in Xcos. First, I want to show you the system. So this is our system. So we have a transfer function of 2 divided by s plus 2, the same which we studied before. Couple of things you should note here is that if you want to have a graph looking like this, so the maximum time of simulation should be around 3 seconds. And similarly, the maximum value of the graph in the y direction should be around 1.2, 1.3, something like that. Because these parameters we have to set in scope and in uh, clock, etc. So now let's start the simulation. So first we get the transfer function from this continuous time systems. So you can just click here and then drag it. Similarly from sources, we need a clock and a step function. So this is our clock. This is our step function. And now the last thing we need is a scope, which is in sinks. So the single uh, display scope, which is this one. And now we just make connections and activation connection. Now we align these blocks, align these vertically. And now we have to set the parameters. So first start from the scope. So simulation setup, or you can double click. So here the final integration time, the maximum time for uh, the simulation, which is around three seconds, as you can see here. So we will just put a value of three, which is already, I think three is there. So three is this one. And in this, we also have this uh, Y minimum and Y maximum. And because we are using the step uh, function, so step function gives one. Uh, so we need a little bit larger than one. So we can say that 1.2. And Y minimum should be zero and refresh period should be, you can say two seconds or maybe larger period, 20 seconds. Okay. Now clock. So here point one is okay. Initialization time, you can change it to zero as well. So zero. Now our transform function is two divided by S plus two. So we change it to two here and now the step function. We want to apply the step function at zero. So therefore we set it to zero. And the final value of the step is one. Initial, va initial value is zero and the final value of the step is one. So now, now we are ready to apply the simulation. So just press this button, start. And as you can see that it will show you the simulation. No, because our scale on the X axis is quite large. So this is our refresh time. So we can reduce this a little bit so that we can get a similar looking graph. But if you just take a close up from here to let's say this point, so then you can see that our graph is exactly the same. And if you see the 63% value, so 63 is around here probably. And if you drop vertical, you will get exactly 0.5 second of time. So it means uh, because our A is two, so this should be one divided by two, which is 0.5. So this is how you simulate. So this was a basic simulation of a very simple transfer function. And you can do a little bit variation. For example, we are applying the step, step function here at zero. You can apply it at one with a delay of one second. So the graph will start from here. So let's close this and now if we apply this the step time is one for example if we put one here and then we do the simulation again as you can see that now our step function is applied at at time one so it's a delay of one second so you can just zoom this click on left corner from where you want to zoom and then the right bottom corner up to which point you want to zoom so now you can see that our step function is applied at time one so you can uh, change this a little bit. You can tweak it. You can change the graph. You can move it as well if you want. So however you want, you can use this simulation and this figure and everything. So this is the way how we make simulations in Xcos.